Hello friends, in this video I will repair this error. As you can see in this list, F02 error means on battery output short. This can have two causes. One of the cause can be weak battery and other cause can be a short put on the output of the UPS. Now let's see what happens. Now the UPS is not connected to the mains. Let's power. As you can see, as you can see, directly enters to F02 error. Now let's connect it to the power plug. And now let's see what happens. Let's power. Apparently works good. But uh, after some tests enters the same error. Now let's open and find the problem. Now you have to push this up and now it's simple. Now we have some screws. Unfortunately, there is a problem here. I hope that you can see this. This uh, MOSFET is blown. Let me show you closer. Now, as you can see, this MOSFET is uh, fault. It's obvious. I hope there are not other problems beside this uh, transistor. Now let's check. First thing that I don't like is that this transistor touch, as you can see, this is moving. This should be fixed, but it's moving. And I bet that the problem started from here. This is the connector the wire from the heat sink and I can bet that the problem started from here because this uh, touched this uh, heat sink and the central uh, wire it's connected to the heat sink and this made a short circuit and that's why uh, this transistor is now fault. So it seems it's a problem on this branch. And I hope that uh, the single problem is this uh, burn MOSFET. Let's take this down and measure again. Now that I've took out this uh, MOSFET, Unfortunately, I can't read because it's all uh, burn. Now let's measure again. So it seems there is still a problem. Let's test this second MOSFET. This one doesn't look well, but at least I can uh, read the model. 
let's take this out. So I've took out uh, this transistor, this MOSFET. Now let's measure again. It seems that my hunch was good. So this second MOSFET, it's also fault. And you can see there is a burn here. The good part is that I can see the model of this MOSFET. Now I will uh, search uh, two MOSFETs like this to replace. So after all, I had to replace uh, all four MOSFETs because uh, three of them, as you can see, were blown. Now I've replaced uh, all four MOSFETs. I put everything together. I forgot to... Now let's screw this. So now I hope that uh, everything uh, will work good. And I will make first test. I will not put this on a battery. I will put on my uh, power supply with current limit to see if uh, this works. Now I, in first step, I will not put uh, either on uh, main power supply. First of all, I will use uh, 12 volts and one amp. I've connected the display. Now let's see what happens. Now let's power on. So everything seems good. Now I have to increase the current. Let's increase the current to the 3 amps. Now let's power on again. I have 1.2 amps power consumption and everything seems to work good now. We don't have uh, error anymore. Now we can uh, make a test with a real battery. Let's uh, turn on. And seems good. Now let's connect to the main power supply to see what happens now. It seems that it's still an error. I will check this error. So it seems that uh, F7 error it's temperature error. And that's why I put back this temperature sensor. Now I've connected to the battery, to the main, and I put a load. I've connected the main power supply. Now let's turn on. Now it's testing the main, now it's testing the battery. And now it's online and it's charging the battery. It seems the, this works perfect now. In the end of the video I will put uh, a list with all error codes. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment. And if you made it so far, 
please give a big like. And if you want to join this community, you can subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.